Hey guys, it's Dave here with the Eastern Massachusetts Roller Hockey League. A little update for a Sunday, November 18th as we go into the holiday season. I want to catch you up on a few things. I even have my notes here because i got a lot of things to go over and I thought it'd just be easy to do a, another video here. So let's get right to it. First things, the bird. Okay, the bird and the bird is this Saturday, okay, after Thanksgiving. November 24th, okay? If you haven't played in the bird, what we do is we show up at the rink, we pick some teams on the fly, we hand out some jerseys, and we play quick games. Usually they're about 15-minute games, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little bit more. And the idea is, is boom, 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 boom. We want to get right through the games because we're probably going to have six teams, and we don't want people sitting around and standing around too long getting antsy. So it's like boom, play, boom, play, boom, play. We'll have a schedule all laid out so everybody knows when they play. And it's it's usually a good time. The bird's usually a really good time. It's guys from Tuesdays. It's guys from Saturday. Sometimes it's older guys coming back. Sometimes it's newer guys looking to play. Uh, Ray's coming up from Connecticut to jump in that again. So it's a good mix of guys on uh, Saturday during the Burn the Bird tournament. And I think this is our, oh, double check, eighth or ninth year of doing Burn the Bird. I, I don't actually remember. It's been, it's been quite a few years. Um so that'll take place this Saturday, November 24th. It's uh, $22 per player, okay? You can pay me at the rink, pay me online, whatever you got to do, okay? And again, we're going to start at 7.30. We originally said 8, but we have a lot of guys. So 7.30 a.m., the ball will drop. Get there at 7, get dressed so we can hand you a jersey and get going. And um, ha ha well, we've got to pick the teams right there on the fly anyway. And uh, we're going to drop the ball at 7.30 and start the game going. So we'll probably play till uh, noon, 12.30ish. Uh, it all depends on, on, on the final format. And then afterwards, well, a bunch of us usually go to Hooters and hang out. And it's, it's a good time. It's a fun time. It's just happy-go-lucky tournament. That's not to be taken too seriously, okay? I will need some help refereeing. Uh, especially con considering I'm just getting over a gout. There's no way I could do four or five hours myself. And, you know, in the past, a lot of guys have really helped out and stepped up and ref the game here, game there. And that's all I would ask. We only use one ref in the game because it's, it's, it's usually wide open. It's usually a good time. There's usually no crap going on. So if you could help out ref a couple of games here or there, that's great. If you want to do more, if you want to do the whole day, let me know. I absolutely will work something out with you. Um, for that. So it's 7.30 a.m. this Saturday. Uh, Stephen Mills has been helping me set this up because I've had, again, I've been down enough. If you've ever had gout, oh my gosh. I think I went five days and I don't remember any of those five days. I was in so much pain. So I am behind on planning the bird. He's helped me out. We're trying to get the list together. We're trying to get it going up on Facebook. Um, most, most of the goalies have already confirmed. Some of the players confirmed. We'll get the finalists together. Uh, Friday, uh, he and I will get together online, put together some frameworks for teams. So at least on Saturday morning, we have an idea what's going on. But we don't post to teams because we always have no shows. And it's just, we're always on the fly just making this work. Because, hey, where's so-and-so? Oh, he ain't here. This guy's sick. Or, you know, this guy's girlfriend won't let him play. Or whatever it is. So that's why we don't post to teams. So show up. Show us that you're there. We'll check you off. And we'll get you in the game. So, um, and again, that's that's first pay, first play. So if you start dragging, start coming up with excuses, and someone else wants to play, they're going to slide in ahead of you. So, yeah, burn the bird this Saturday, 7.30 a.m., November 24th. The 20th year update. Yeah, this started in 1999. The scary thing is there could be somebody playing the league right now that wasn't born when we started this damn thing. Yeah, all right, so the 20th year update. Uh, we do have somebody working on the 20th anniversary logo, okay? Um, he hasn't shown me anything yet, so I know he's hard at work on it, right, right, right? So uh, hopefully we'll get that pretty soon, and then we can start figuring out how we're going to um, put this together. We're going to get hats made. We're going to get more of these. These are the 15th now. They're five years old almost. So we're going to get the 20th logo. We'll show everybody, get everybody's opinion. Hopefully you guys will like it, and then we'll start getting the merchandise together for that. Uh, the, the tentative plan right now is to have a uh, have a gathering in the spring of 2019. The ball officially dropped in May of 1999, so in May of 2019, we will have completed 20 years. So April, May area, I, I want to do something. And some guys have talked about a small banquet or a get-together or, or maybe a skate or have some beers. Um, with the outdoor rink not working right now, I don't think we could skate outside and do what we did last time. But uh, if you have any any suggestions at all, any ideas on what to do for our 20th anniversary celebration, uh, please let me know. I mean, it's wide open. It's whatever you guys want to do. I know everybody most likely would like to skate. But I think for the big one, for the 20th, I think we could actually get together in a, in a hall or a function area and 
just kind of hang out and whatever. But anyway, up to you guys. If we do nothing, that's fine too. We should do something, but it's whatever you guys think. So anyway, uh, once I get that logo, we will get it up on the website and have everybody take a look at it. Uh, just uh, last time, the 15th, Kyle Kyle did a fantastic job with this one there, but I guess he's retired from designing. So uh, he went out on a high, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Tuesday players, Tuesday, December 18th. That's going to be a, a weird day, okay? The season is scheduled to end on December 11th, barring any cancellations with snow or rain or anything like that. So on December 11th, we hand out the championship trophy. Now, we're scheduled to start on December 18th, but after that, we have December 25th and January 1st. So there'll be no games on Christmas and no games on New Year's. So what do we do? Do we pick the team, start on December 18th, and then be off, and then come back on January 8th with Week 2? Or do we get creative on December 18th, trying to have some sort of a fun skate, Maybe a couple of scrimmages, maybe a small tournament, and then pick the teams and start the season after the holidays and, and, and basically start the season on January 8th. So what is your feedback on that? I could go either way. I mean, we can pick it and start it and just get the ball rolling, or we can try to do something fun on uh, that Tuesday night, which we never get to do because we're always rolling the seasons over. So we never really get to catch our breath on Tuesday and just have some fun out there. So let me know if that's something you'd like to do or if you just want to start the season. Okay, now on to the jerseys. So, as you know, we have 16 sets of jerseys, or 16 colors, I should say. Okay, as they wear out, we replace them. And, and I'll buy the Black Biscuits one again, and, and I usually put them all together and the whole bit. Um, it, it's time to start replacing some of them. Okay, I never replace them all at once. I'll do two or three sets, and then two or three sets, and, and keep rotating it like that to try to keep them fresh. Um, so, it's time to start replacing some of these sets okay the thinking was where it's the 20th year maybe we should do something a little bit special instead of just the same old same old so i went on to the uh, hockey tron website you probably heard of hockey tron and i've been emailing the guy back and forth and they're willing to do some sublimated jerseys for us uh, um, cheaper than some of the the big ones there okay because we really can't be doing 50 60 dollars a jersey times, you know, 10 jerseys times 16 teams. Forget it. The money's not there. But, I mean, if we could find something affordable and look nice, that's what we're looking to do. So I've been talking to JerseyTron about what we can do. So let me show you what we have here. Okay, so this is currently our jersey, right? It is a single-color logo. we got a little number on the front and a single-color number on the back. And you can see the jersey here. Most of the jerseys have a couple of colors in there, and between the logos, we make it look nice. So, but that's that's what we have right now, and it's fine for what we do. Now, the jersey I, I brought up on Saturday, I'll show you once, but if we were to go sublimation, we could do something like what Ray did down there in Connecticut. We could do this, okay? We can have it right on the jersey. We can have multicolor, okay? So it is the multicolor logo, okay, on the sleeves, we could have numbers on the sleeves. We could have a little shoulder crest. I was thinking about putting the Hockey Town uh, logo up here because we've been there for 18 years. I think that would be kind of neat, okay? And then, obviously, on the back, more multicolor. And even if we wanted to, um, we could put uh, a sponsor at the bottom if we wanted to there. But this is what you can do with sublimation, okay? So that's what I'm looking into. Now, the jersey I brought up Saturday, and I'm going to bring this one up on Tuesday so you can see. This one is one of the... Hockey Tron jerseys. Now, this is just a, a design for Alkali Sports there. So this is not the design, but this is the actual shirt. And I kind of like the little V-neck here. I like the feel of it. I like the size of it. Um, I had a bunch of people try it on. I'll have some people try it on on Tuesday, see what you think. But this is uh, this is okay. I mean, for a sublimated jersey, I think this would work. We could put our logo on it, numbers on the sleeves, color numbers on the back. We could really do it up really nice, and we could design it whatever we wanted to do. If we want to put flames on them, we could. You know, um, I mocked one up online a little bit that people really like. Maybe we'll go with that style, but it, it's gonna it's not going to be this crazy. I definitely want it clean. I definitely want just our logo on it with a sponsor and, and numbers and the whole bit, but this is what we can do with um, uh, a sublimated jersey. Now, as far as the sponsor location, if we put it in the top right, like most places, this is just a Antarctica one I got. But you can see how we got the logo up here. We can make it a little bit bigger. But this is the standard here. So when you have the jersey on, you're skating around, that's that logo. It's right there 
on the right heart and that looks really nice and that's where a lot of placement for logos go on the professional jerseys and i think that's what we're going to do for our sponsors okay so then here would be the white one again um it'd be a logo up here now we would make sure i would probably put uh, on the dark one i would probably put some kind of a border on it so the logo would stand out much better but that's where the, the placement would go so as far as sponsoring the jerseys here's what we're going to do okay we need to order 10 jerseys in a set okay eight skaters a goalie and then a spare okay you always gotta have a spare maybe even two spares so i have to order a minimum of 10 jerseys they're only thirty dollars a piece that's what they're going to charge me is thirty dollars a piece so i'm only going to ask for thirty dollars for a sponsor so it's three hundred dollars because you got to get 10 times 30 so it's only 300 bucks to buy one set or one color as you will okay However, because we have home and away and we mix it up, the only way to guarantee to see your logo here at the rink is to do home and away. So for $5.99, you could sponsor home and away jerseys. So that way there, no matter what one we bring to the rink, we'll have your logo here. Okay, so it's just at cost. There's no profit to be made for me. It's just they said it's 300 bucks for 10 jerseys. 300 bucks for the sponsor. So for two of them, 599 is a good number because it's under that 600 mark that businesses are aware of. So 599 would cover that. What that would do, you get your logo on here. We're going to put a banner right on our main website saying you are a sponsor. Okay. We're also going to, on our videos here, I plan on doing some, some videos coming up this fall into the winter with some other, some players about different things. We'll mention you on here. Um, maybe give us a jersey. Maybe we'll wear, wear your sponsorship jersey right on the video. And also we'll have you in our email campaign. So we got you on the jersey, got you on the website, got you on the videos, and got you an email campaign. And um, that's what we can do if you want to sponsor. So what we're going to do is is the if you want to sponsor home and away, that will take priority over just sponsoring one set because it'd just be easier to have the, that logo on home and away. It gets me two sets of jerseys instead of one. So if you say, hey, I want to sponsor the gold jerseys, and someone comes up and says, well, I, I want to sponsor both gold and navy, the home and away, I would have to defer to the person wanting to do two sets of jerseys. I hope you can understand that, okay? Because that gets me two sets, and I get the same sponsor on the home and away, okay? Uh, if you are skating in the league and you get one of these sponsorships, what I can also do too is try to make sure that you stay, you skate on the team with your logo or the logo that you got for at least two seasons, maybe three. I'll try to get a full year out of it because you know, you know we, we rotate teams, we rotate colors. But um, if you do this and, and you are responsible for getting us new jerseys, then yes, we will absolutely have to work around that and make sure that you're on the team that you got the sponsor for at least two or three seasons. After that, now we're now we're around a year or so. We'll still do our best, but I mean, we, at some point, you know, we might have to, to mix that up. So that's anyway the sponsorship. The last thing I just want to say a caveat is that I still can't control what happens at the rink. Okay, uh, we're still playing. Everything's going well as far as I know. But for whatever reason, if we stop playing or if they shut it down, that's one thing I can't control. So if we're not playing, we're not wearing the jerseys. So I I can't guarantee. How long we'll be wearing these? It could be a month, could be a year, could be ten years. I I don't know. Okay, I so that's one thing to say that if if we get the jerseys and all of a sudden something happens, okay, I'm not responsible for what the rink does. All I can do is try to play the game. So I just want to get that out there. I have not heard anything. Nobody panic. I would like to think that if something were to happen, we have enough people in the league that we can somehow put out our feelers and and our contacts and try to make something happen in some way shape or form okay so i don't plan on stopping but i do need to throw that out that i'm not going to take the money and run with the jerseys okay so to speak that but if if the rink does shut down and we don't play then we're not skating and that's that and it's a whole nother problem so anyway that should catch you up on that so again to wrap up the bird this saturday at 7 30 if you signed up um please get some payment into me uh and we're going to confirm back throughout the weeks i know that list will keep changing as guys come in and out 
um, but we definitely want to confirm the goalies first. Uh, the 20th update, we hope to have something on that logo shortly so we can show everybody. Then we'll start ordering our merchandise like we did with 15th. Tuesday play is December 18th. What do we do? Do we start week one? Do we have a, a fun skate, a tournament, a scrimmage? What do we do? I mean, we do have to skate of some sort because the rink is open. Uh, so, so let us know. Do we start the season or do we hold off until January 8th? And then finally, again, on the sponsorship for the jerseys, it's $300 a set, $599 for the home and away, which I really recommend, and that will take priority. Um, and again, it's first come, first serve f as far as colors too. So if you want to sponsor the light green and the dark green, you know, get that in right away, lock that in, get me a check, whatever it is, and we'll lock you in on those colors. Because once you're locked in, you're good to go. And then we'll worry about getting the logos up on the jersey in a whole bit. So there's no right way to do it, but I just figure first come, first serve is probably just the best way. And obviously, a home and away will take precedent over someone that just wants to do one or the other. It's just a lot easier that way. So anyway, that's all I got for now. Uh, we got Tuesday night, then we're off until the bird. So there's no Saturday league per se, but we will have the bird on, on Saturday. So have a good Thanksgiving, everybody, and talk to you next time.